results that will be declared. This implies that the bimodal vote tax with the accreditation system levers must function excellently, then maximally, and then optimally. Nigerians will not tolerate any excuses for poor performance from the Independent National Electoral Commission this time. We must get it right this time and redirect the ship of the nation to the path of rectitude, progress, development, and advancement. Insecurity has been the bane of the nation's development and should be effectively tackled and crushed to move the country forward. Most eligible voters were unable to come out of vote during the last elections because of fears of not being able to return back to their, their homes. And this is the reason why we have that very embarrassing level of voter turnout to decide the present people that are about being inaugurated. NMBP or the security agents to sit up and effectively discharge their constitutional duties in tandem with section 14, subsection 2B of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended, which states that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. Nigerians want to want dividends of democracy to get to them, not carnage. Enough is enough of kidnappings and gruesome killings of innocent people across the country. It is time to restore the dignity of our nation as the great arsenal of democracy in Africa. Together, we should be able to build a new Nigeria that ministers to the needs of every Nigeria and court on the principles of justice, peace, love, unity, equity, and progress. I thank you all for coming. All right, um, I have a question, sir. My name is Sunday Isua. I write for leadership newspaper. Now, you talk about the expulsion of uh, two state chairmen who couldn't um, appear before your disciplinary committee. Now, people may say that um, the, uh, the decision taken is uh, stringent because um, they are saying that uh, they should have been suspended you know, and with time after investigation, you know, before this kind of decision. Can we know what really happened? Because um, it's, it's like exp uh, um you know, sacking someone from a party is, is beyond issue of anti-party. So what kind of anti-party that these people really engage themselves? Well, uh, for me, you after expelling the chairman and you dissolving the ESCO in the state, from state to what level, to what is the offense of the other yes. members of the ESCO from state to from the world to the state level? Well, first let me place it on record that uh, these are internal issues of the party. The nominal heads who are the state chairman are the ones that have been used and they are the ones that we are prepared to talk about in the public. The rest uh, are issues that the party is looking into. And that's why I said that further decisions on what would happen next across those things will be communicated to you. At the moment, uh, the chairman, the two chairmen have been expelled. And then, uh, like uh, leadership is trying to say, uh, it just sounds uh, like uh, an overkill to him. But I can tell you that uh, those who are familiar with the internal workings of our party, as well as the provisions of uh, our constitution, will tell you that uh, if there's anything like an overkill here, it's rather supposed to be an over overkill. Mm. Because uh, they did things that are very strange and alien to our constitution. We caught some of them even on tape, on the faces of the newspapers, on the screens of the television, you know, only a dozen candidates of other political parties. You know, and uh, we tried to call them to order, and what we got was that uh, they were doing what their local politics demanded, and these are clearly not in the interest of the candidates. The funny thing is that we fielded candidates in those same states, you know, and they abandoned our candidates who are uh, who they are supposed to be working with or working for, and then went across to go and endorse other candidates. So, 
the other stringent in it, uh, our position says uh, the process, suspension, it depends on the weight of the allegations. After investigation, what happens determines what the punishment should be. In this case, uh, we opted for outright expulsion because apart from uh, the fact that uh, we provided an opportunity for them to be hacked, you know, the first invitation was extended to them. They said they were not going to come. Some of them even responded in writing, you know, going for that to say that uh, they won't come and that uh, nothing would happen and all of that. And so no organization takes that level of indiscipline and insanity. And so the disciplinary committee recommended that uh, we don't need to waste time by going through all the whole government of suspension to this and that, that what we needed to do was just go straight to expulsion, you know. And the essence is that uh, they are now used as deterrents for others, you know, scapegoats so that other state chairmen would learn from such level of arrogance and uh, and uh, such level, unacceptable level of indiscipline. Okay, so can we get more of the suspended or I mentioned those things. That of Delta is she chief. only mentioned Delta. No, that of Delta is I chief effector. I not I don't um, even mention it. No, that no, I don't I told you that uh, the other chairman appeared. Okay. And uh, we are giving him more room to provide more evidence, you know, to be able to answer some of the questions that were put before him. So he has about uh, two more weeks to return back to the disciplinary committee. I have to tell you how far we are. Uh, if they had appeared to ask for time. To be able to, you know, defend themselves, create opportunity for them to be able to defend themselves more. We would have obliged them that, but what they did was to frontally uh, confront the NWC to say they are not coming and they are coming in the You know, so the adult chairman is expected to return again in two weeks' time to appear before the disciplinary committee before the decision will be taken on this case. Then the, 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 the expelled chairman of the state is uh, chief. Uh, Let me ask this uh, combination. The how soon are we expecting a national chairman, that is a subtracting national chairman of the time? Well again, uh, it's just that uh, you're already taking advantage of your privilege and media people to dig deep into the internal workings of the party. Otherwise uh, I would have told you that's not your issue that you should bother about. But uh, because you asked, let me say that uh, uh, the party is already working towards uh, maybe an extraordinary national convention where this job will be taken and then uh, a substantive national chairman will be put in place. And I think we expect that to take place within the next uh, six months. Our constitution says every interim agreement terminates within and not beyond six months. So we'll be calling on you anytime to come see what we'll do. There'll be a convention very soon. 